Liver dogs again? Looks like we got that nasty blue green spinach substitute too. Ain't that cute? A bunch of pint sized food critics. Too bad their little taste buds aren't even developed yet. They're developed enough to know when something's tender and when it bumps. Oh, yeah, kid. Like you could do better. Blindfolded with one hand tied behind my back. Ooh. Do my eyes deceive me or did I just hear Vince LaSalle say he could cook? Attention, everyone! Vince LaStupid has just announced he can cook better than the lunch ladies. And I, for one, would love to see him try. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Lawson? Well, I'd love to show you. Vince, I know you accept all challenges, but you've never even made a sandwich. Good point, Teach. As I was saying, I'd love to show you, Lawson, but it's against school policy. Not today it ain't. Apron up, kid. You're hired. See, I, uh... What's the matter, the sandwich? Afraid to put your menu where your mouth is? Not in a million years, Lawson. Uh, where's the kitchen? All right, smart Alec, start cooking. Oh, yeah, and wear this. Keeps food out of your hair. Okay, let's see what kind of items we got around here. What's that? Meat, mostly. Ah, where do you keep the flavor stuff? You mean the fixings? Them's over there. Hmm, what to use? No. Ah, yeah. That ought to do it. Now let's see what's what. Nothing personal, ladies, but this food is starting to rock. Yeah? Well, let's just see what those little piranhas have to say about that. Uh, Mikey, would you do the honors? I guess. I mean, it is food, isn't it? Oh, no, you don't, Lissimmerer. I'm not falling for that. Give me that spork. If anybody's gonna put that crummy tasting junk in their mouth, it's gonna be me. This stuff rules! <laughs> this cafeteria food is so tasty, I'm actually savoring it before I swallow. Game, set, and match to the young chef. I hope this wasn't our last day as skilled co-workers. It doesn't have to be. But tomorrow, I'm gonna need a whole mess of chickens. I got a notion. A little of this, a little of that, and... Ugh, none of that. But that's our key ingredient. Was, Emmy. Was. Vince, my man, this is even better than yesterday. Wait till you see what's on tomorrow's menu. I can't wait. Thanks, Mikey. No, I really can't wait. Can I have it now, please? All of all. Well, done the book call for lard? Now, now, Irma. The book's a good starting point, but I've got my own ideas, too. But, but, zip it, girl. Whatever that kid says goes. Where are all you dopes? Welcome to Shea Vince, your bistro on third. How many in your party today, your majesty? One today, Garçon, and park them nearby. Very good, right this way. Four by the window, Garçon. Ha, I'm sorry, ladies. Nothing is available by the window. We do have something near the kitchen which might suit you. Uh, what about that table? I'm sorry, that's Hustler Kid's table. But he's like totally absent today. It's still Hustler Kid's table. I see. Four by the window it is. So I say, of course I can suspend your boy. I'm the principal. Ha <laughs> ha! Tender, sir. Tender. May I do it next time? Freshly brewed coffee. Compliments of the chef. Send him my compliments on a splendid, splendid meal. Man, the Shea Vince thing is great. Well, we always said we'd get our own place one of these days. Yeah, but who would have thought it would be in fourth grade? I got a feeling the doors to Shea Vince will be open through fourth grade and beyond. Chocolate blue! What is the meaning of this? And you are? I am the great master Chef Pierrot from the teacher's lounge. Out of my way, you little turnip of a man. Monsieur Prickly, this is an insult. You slap on my face with a cold, wet fish. How bad can my food be that you prefer to eat in this, this cafeteria? Mm. Mm, mm. And look at you, so satisfied. I have never seen you like this. Not bad. Where is the chef? Chef Vince is in the kitchen preparing dessert. Chef Vince rings no bells. He's just the best darn kickballer in the fourth grade. Fourth grade? Say thing, pussy, Take me to him at once. 
Are you there, Chef Vince? Tell me now as I ask you this, where did you study? I don't know. For last week's spelling test, I studied over at Mikey's house. His mom makes the best grub. This word, grub. You will never use it again. Now tell me, who taught you to cook? Nobody taught me. I got some ideas from the cookbook. But the rest is like, it's like... A feeling? Yeah, that's right. It's like a feeling. You have the gift. Properly nurtured, you will become a great chef. Take off the apron and that silly mesh monstrosity. And now you will come with me. You crying because you're going to miss him? No, I'm crying because I didn't write down any of his recipes. Behold, your new playground. It's so clean. You will learn to prepare the most amazing feasts imaginable. Someday, Vincenzo, you will cook for queens and congressmen, the rich and the famous, and their angers on. Tender, Chef P. Wow, so Vince is getting taught stuff by a real-life chef. He looks like the chef on the can of beefy meat Aronios. I get hungry just looking at him. Hey, buddy, Chef Piero show you any tricks we can use to Chef Vince tomorrow? Sorry, guys, but Chef Vince is history. What? Was there a fire? Yeah, Vince, what gives? Look, you guys are free to keep serving stuff in the cafeteria, but from now on, I'm working with Chef Piero. Perhaps we can move Chef Vince to the teacher's lounge. It's the chef's only type operation. Piero doesn't like boys and girls in his kitchen. Sorry, guys, but now I gotta go study for a souffle test. What is Chef Piero doing to Vince? Did you say Chef Piero? I remember the last kid Chef Piero took a shine to. Name was Henry. Nice, normal kid, just like everybody else. That is, until Chef Piero tasted one of Henry's meatloaf sandwiches. What happened to him? Ever hear of a place called France? To be the European country? Sounds right. Anyway, that's where they sent Henry to perfect his natural gift. Do you think Chef Piero's angling on sending Vince to France? You better hope not, because once Henry went to France, nobody ever saw him again. <gasps> Never? One question, Butch. How did Chef Piero know that Henry was good enough? He passed some kind of a test. A souffle test? That's the one. <gasps> Alas, Vince knows not where he's bound. Guys, we need to find out when that test is going to be and stage a little souffle surprise. Marvelous job, my petit protégé. Your souffle looks exquisite. It would appear that the souffle has reached critical loft. Remember, though beautiful and tasty, a souffle is delicate. A single loud noise can bring it down. Okay, Mikey, ready the lunch sack. Now get into position. And as soon as that souffle comes by, pop the bag. This evening, we will serve the souffle to Superintendent Skinner. If he approves, and how could he not, you will be sent to the Codon Rouge in France to study with the great chefs of Europe. France, the European country? The very one. All right. I've always dreamed of going to France. Woohoo! Vince wants to go to France. Vince liking France? I would have never figured. Oh, man, we gotta stop Mikey! Members of the faculty, Principal Prickly, and our highly esteemed guest, Superintendent Skinner, it is my pleasure to present my most enlightened pupil, Vincenzo, and his souffle! No, 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 quietly, quietly. It is a souffle. Mikey, what are you doing here? Please forgive me, Vince, but I do this for your future. No! Whoa! My souffle! No! Prickly, I'm amused that you've hired circus people to serve us, but it won't buy your student any points. This wasn't some circus act, Superintendent Skinner. These are my friends, or at least I thought they were. What do you guys think you're doing? We were planning on spoiling your souffle because we heard they were going to ship you off to France. But then we found out you actually wanted to go, so we... Ah, uh, what's the use? Bon voyage, buddy. Now, without further interruption, testez-vous, s'il vous plaît. I wonder how it went. Prickly, I must say, that's the best souffle I've ever had. That Vincenzo will make a fine chef. I've always said that about him, sir. You hear that, guys? Skinner loved Vince's souffle. Then I guess Vince is headed for France. I miss him already! Vince is doing what he wants to do. That's right, Gretch. So I guess we should be happy for him. Even if it makes us feel lousy. Yeah, well, I just hope they got kickball over there. Hey, guys, thanks for waiting for me. No problem, Vince. Or, uh, Vincenzo. Congratulations! I guess. Yeah, we heard they loved your souffle. Yeah, they did. Then, bon chance. Remember us when you're in France. No problem, Mikey. That is, whenever I get around to going to France. What are you talking about, Vince? See, after you guys nearly spoiled my souffle, I got to thinking. I'm just a kid. I've got plenty of time to get good at stuff. Why should I give up everything just for one thing I'm good at? Especially if it means giving up my friends. So, you're not going to France? Nah, not right now. 
Right now, I think I'm gonna go to Kelso's, but only if you guys can come with me. What do you say? 